not just about telling people that other families and other types of lifestyles exist. It's actually aggressively promoting them, giving it a positive spin and telling people that it is okay for you to be Muslim and for you to be gay. Now, we are going to talk about this right here that I recently found this story. And actually, I saw it the other day and I was like, well, do I want to talk about this? But I think it lends itself to the fact of what I've been talking about for a very long time. And in that we as believers, as Christians, have got to be a little bit stronger in our appeal for our children when it comes to these schools and what is being taught in the schools. Um, a lot of the work that I do are within the schools sometimes. And it is amazing to me to see how the homosexual agenda has infiltrated the schools but now look at this muslim parents students protest outside school over lgbt curriculum shame 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 now one thing i will say about this is, as i've always said when it comes to this particular issue, the difference between Muslims and Christians is that Christians will always say, oh, well, we'll just love. And then what happens is that they, Christians become influenced and then believers, they end up being allies to the homosexual agenda. Now, Muslims on the other side of the coin, they're like, no, we are not having it. You will not infiltrate the minds of our kids. And this is what's happening, but this is what they did to stop that. The families and, and the people of that town said, no, we will not have it, and we will pull our kids out of the school system before we allow you to, to indoctrinate our kids into this LGBTQ curriculum and that lifestyle. So let's get into this story. So on Thursday, Hundreds of students and their Muslim parents protested outside a primary school in Britain over LGBT-centered curriculum. At the protest, parents and organizers repeatedly chanted the word shame and said it was wrong to be Muslim and gay. And going on, it says, after early backlash from largely Muslim population of parents, Birmingham's Parkfield Community School paused their LGBT lessons Unsatisfied parents, however, say they will continue to protest until the program is completely abolished. Now, according to Fox News, the school program in question is called No Outsiders, and it includes teaching about homosexuality, including same-sex relationships and marriages and challenges homophobia. See, they're always trying to challenge the quote-unquote homophobia, which, again, is not a, a true medical term, because no one freaks out and goes crazy when they're, when they're around homosexuals. So, now, but this no outsiders, now this is actually something that was being put on by a, uh, a homosexual man. Again, being able to in, in, uh, gain inroads with that lifestyle into the schools using representatives from that community. So now reading this, a man standing in front of a uh, stop no outsider sign said into a megaphone, we need to make one thing clear. This program is not just about telling people that uh, other families and other types of lifestyles exist. It's actually aggressively promoting them, giving it a positive spin and telling people that it's okay for you to be Muslim and for you to be gay. I've been saying this for the longest, that within our school system, this, this is what has been happening within America. Our school systems, I, I want to say since the early 70s, in, in, in terms of what I've been reading, uh, se excuse me, late 70s and early 80s, slowly but surely, the National uh, Education Association, along with GLAD and other organizations, that they have slowly but surely infiltrated the school system so they can start uh, uh, um, indoctrinating our kids when it comes to sex, sexuality, and in various lifestyles. And not only that, in Boston, it got so bad as to where they would literally have pamphlets and so forth that were describing various types of uh, sexual acts that people, uh, that same-sex couples can perform. And they were doing this to young kids. And, and, it was, and they did it without the parents' consent. And it was a big uproar. And it was an absolute shame and, and just a mess and how that went down. Now and and thank God for groups like Mass Resistance and they have been so they've been so powerful in, in stopping a lot of this drag queen story hour and other things that have happened within the school systems. So let's continue to read. The man targeted assistant here, Andrew Moffat, who is a gay gay man, for allegedly aggressively indoctrinating children with with the LGBT message against parents' wishes. And that's how they always do it. This always happens without the parents knowing, without the parents having the option to 
opt out m many times. And then many times they, they always make they make comments to where, oh, your parents don't need to know. It's almost like uh, having getting abortions or, or getting uh, contraceptives in terms of not letting the parents know and that the kids can can learn and, and get these things without the parents' uh, uh, consent. And that right there is, is, is shady and shysty within itself. And it, and it sounds very demonic because at that point you are taking... Do you're putting yourself in the place of the parents and choosing what is what is and is not right for the child and making decisions on behalf of that family. But as you can see, what he says here is, Mr. Moffat, I did not want to make this person, but Mr. Moffat has decided upon his own self, like I said, to reinterpret our religious scriptures. I don't know where he gets his religious education from, but our religious beliefs are not here to be changed. That is a very powerful statement. We have nowadays what people have literally taken the scriptures of the Bible and reinterpreted it to suit their own feelings as it relates to sex and sexuality. As you can see within the Muslim community, they will not have that now we we get confused for, for whatever reason believers get confused they don't know what to say they don't know what to do well it says this but it says to love everybody and so forth and so forth and we just get so confused whereas the bible is very clear on the purpose of male and female man and woman man and wife and sex and sexuality very clear in romans 1 very clear and in first corinthians in, in terms of uh, people once being homosexual, but now they can be free by the power of Jesus Christ. It's very clear on these things. And, but for some reason, we believers get so confused on, on, on this particular issue. But the other issues, tithing, uh, mar uh, excuse me, tithing, or if it comes down to um, marriage, treating people right, being kind, all those things, that, and, and, and loving your neighbor. But that they don't, but when it comes to homosexuality, we simply do not understand it. and for some reason I don't I don't get it but as he states here uh, we do not send our children to school to be indoctrinated this is an aggressive indoctrination that is going on now and he says go on to say in the story here some of the other signs that the event read say no to sexualizing children respect and be respected and children our children our choice again a lot of the behind the scenes things have removed the choice from the parents. And so therefore, these kids are then exposed to things that they're probably not ready for. For in, in most cases, they are not ready for this information in, in terms of sex and sexuality. And besides, that should be something that the parents, this should be in the hands of the parents to teach their kids what they want them to know when it comes to those particular issues. And it goes on to say, parents at the protest also reportedly took to the megaphone to complain that the LGBT lesson were not age appropriate and bashed the school for violating their Islamic beliefs, it's specifically noting that homosexuality is not okay. And according to Fox, virtually every child at the school has Muslim parents. Some 600 students were pulled out of the school in a single day over the No Outsiders program. I love it. That is, that's exactly what should be happening. Up to the end of this term, we will not be delivering any no outsiders lessons in our long term year curriculum plan as this half term has already been blocked for religious education. The letter states equality assembles will continue as normal and our welcoming no outsiders ethos will be there for all. This is so powerful and it's a good thing that when things like this happen so that people can understand that it, when we stand up, we stand up together and in unity and solidarity believers that we can make changes. So here's the video. This program, it's not just about telling people that other families and other types of lifestyles exist. It's actually aggressively promoting them, giving it a positive spin and telling people that it is okay for you to be Muslim and for you to be gay. Mr. Moffat, shame, 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 shame. shame. Mr. Moffat, I did not want to make this personal, but Mr. Moffat has decided upon his own self to reinterpret our religious scriptures. And I don't know, I don't know where he, I don't know where he gets his religious education from and when he became Mufti Moffat. Let me just say this here. What if our preachers nowadays would do something like this? What if our preachers nowadays would stand, stand up for righteousness on God's side and said, no, you will not indoctrinate our uh, children. All these big time preachers, what if they stood up and said, no, we will not have it.
We will not allow you to indoctrinate our children in these schools. What if our men in our communities, the race has nothing to do with it. It has something to do with kingdom principles and ensuring our kids are taught kingdom things, even sometimes even within the schools. And ensuring that your kids are not being indoctrinated into a into a worldview that leads them down a path of destruction. But this is strength right here. This is powerful right here to see this. And again, I'm not a Muslim and I don't I don't promote that religion. But what I will say right here is that I admire them for the strength of their men to stand up for their families and their communities and say, we will not take it and we will not have it. And I have yet to see that on a grand scale within the uh, within the Christian community. Now, there are some and there have been a, quite a few over the years that have done some more some powerful things. But when it comes to this right here, this particular issue, it is hard to find a, a, a popular preacher that will stand up and say, no, 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 shame, shame, shame. So anyway, all right, so I just wanted to address that. I mean, look at this, it's absolutely amazing. Our religious beliefs are not here to be changed. That's powerful. Their religious beliefs are not there to be changed. All right, so this is James from Free Project. Remember, Jesus Christ is Lord, and as believers, we have to stand up for righteousness and holiness. And when it comes to our children, we have got to stand strong and protect them from the evil days that are lie ahead. All right, remember, Jesus Christ is Lord. Peace.